down in the den. So go tell a friend. The best podcast on earth is about to begin. We got jokes and news and movie reviews. After Dark NC-17 with the crew. Interviews with the best artists around. So like, comment, subscribe. The show's starting right now. Let's go. Like, comment, subscribe. The show's starting right now. Welcome to Down in the Den. It's your host, Mars, and thank you so much for joining me here on today's episode. In the Den with me, I have Miss Danielle June, who is a sound practitioner, a nurse, a podcaster, and who is helping people all over find their inner phoenix. Danielle, welcome to the Den. How are you today? Thank you. I'm doing great. Thank you for having me. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for joining us. There's a tradition here in the Den. I ask every single one of our guests, what is their origin story? I always say all heroes have an origin story. May it be a a bite from a magic spider or something like that. There's something that transformed them. Sometimes it's trauma, whatever it may be. But what is your origin story? How did you become a sound practitioner, a healer, and and really becoming uh, involved in the practice that you're currently in? Sure. Um, So... I honestly have suffered from every trauma. Um, You know, we don't need to go into too much detail about it, but uh, as a woman, as financially, emotionally, physically, all of the things. So most of it, or almost all of it, had to do with alcoholism. Um, These people were affected by the disease. Um, I was either raised, um, there were issues in my past marriage, you know, most things people every person I've loved has an issue with alcohol as I've learned because I'm in recovery through Al-Anon my mission is to bring exposure to that to a lot of people that didn't even know that that recovery program exists sorry um so what does that mean that means that I also have been affected by the disease therefore I have my own issues conditions that I need recovery from So that is what brings me to my podcast. It's Finding Your Inner Phoenix is the name. Um, I'm actually a nurse practitioner and a sound healer, so I do both. Um, But I have big dreams to be a motivational speaker. Um, I want to bring more spirituality to recovery. That makes sense, you know? Perfect um, sense. The 11th step is, you know, your conscious contact with God through prayer and meditation. But typically that's just reading the Bible or that's just um, reading literature where I'm talking the true meditation where I teach you through sound healing, binaural beats, because it actually rewires your brain. You know, when you're an addict or you've been affected by the disease of alcoholism, your brain is wired differently. Um, The trauma, you know, your neural pathways were created differently. And with the sound healing, with the neural, you know, binaural beats, you can get into a meditative state to calm yourself, to rewire your brain. So that's really my passion. Um, And I also really want to change the word narcissism. I'm really over it. I've heard it so many times. And I want to change it to victim entitlement behavior. Like I think more people would resonate with that term. And I think it would, uh, wake people up a little bit. So if you want to know my core, that's my core. That's awesome. And one thing we always talk about here on the den are the three P's, purpose, passion, and a plan. So it sounds like you have all three, and that's always a solid start for great success. Now, we've had motivational speakers, addiction specialists, shamans. um, And one thing we like to do on this show is just highlight that there are multiple ways to heal. Healing is a big thing. Mental health is a big thing on us. And you've mentioned, you know, your traumas with alcoholism. Uh, How did the sound practitioner in you, how did that help you overcome your own personal traumas or help you deal with the personal traumas? Well, yeah, that's what I speak personally through the podcast. I'm honest with my anxieties, my depressions I used to have. Um, being told I'm typical, I'm not neurotypical, right? I have some ADD inattentiveness, um, you know, not being, you know, I can feel things being an empath, you know, all of these things were happening to me and being labeled by society as wrong or right, or 
needing to get fixed, but you know, it did affect my daily life. You know, I, my trauma would show up being a parent. My trauma shows up in my job, you know, now having two businesses, I learned a lot this year. My trauma showed up there. It's like when you don't heal some of your trauma, not some, when we have trauma, if you don't really heal it, it's going to bleed everywhere else. So with the sound, yes, I have learned to be more present, be more in my body. Um, and honestly, though, I recently found Jesus, which I don't know. He's just, when I meditate, he's there. And I never thought, I don't know if I even consider myself quite a Christian per se, but my just spirituality has grown dramatically since I have been doing sound and in recovery in al -Anon. Absolutely. Now, um, I have uh, friends who are healers in, in that industry and um, they do the uh, sound bowls and we exactly. talk about the certain megahertz and the frequency. Mm -hmm. For those who may not be familiar with bioenergetic genetic uh, okay. people that might be unfamiliar with bioenergetic okay. medicine and the sounding uh, frequency can you give them a little bit of insight about how that really works and how you know that yeah. healing from sound can really help and and manifest your best self sure so it all goes to quantum physics so it's a type of science that some people debunk but it's getting more and more research to where we cannot fight it as much anymore. And so everything in the universe has a vibration. That's definitely from Nikola Tesla. And so essentially our cells vibrate at a certain level that when they're out of whack, what does out of whack mean? Like God forbid cancer, God forbid pain, God forbid you're suffering from, you know, it, disease is lack of wellness. You know, like it's just, there's, it's not, you're not well, you're in a disease. So therefore, with the sound, with bioenergetic medicine, you're hitting the frequencies that your body needs to put your elevation to that the vibrations are at this vibration that it needs to be at. I mean, I actually work with a device called the Healy, where it's this quantum physics out of Germany that will, like every, he has measured everything. It's pretty incredible, but it's hard to get, the mass population on board. So the easiest thing with the sound healing and the, because the binaural beats are more studied right now. Right. So like they, they study it with the meditation, they can put it on your ears, they can look at your like brave waves, like it's there. So that's kind of where I can get people at first to start just, okay, put, you must wear headphones, you must wear it's, sure it's proper because one beat goes on one side and one goes on the other. And then it creates a certain tone and it's kind of like, it's very spacey, you know, it's like, whoa, 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 you know, but it just calms you down. And a lot of times if you listen to it like all night in like a subconscious level, it's even better. Beautiful. Now I'm sure with any type of, it's not really new, as you mentioned, Nikola uh, Tesla talked about it years and years and years ago. So it's not really new but it's really becoming more of an awareness. I believe with the internet, a lot of people can do their own research and, and, and really find out that this stuff works and it can really help them. Um, where would someone that's interested in your service, where would they find you? Where would they be able to get in contact with you and, and seek some healing for themselves? Because that's what we're all about. We're all about everyone reaching their level of wellness that, that they deserve. I think that's my ultimate goal. So I have my website. It's just www.findingyourinnerphoenix.com. And I have this kind of little cool widget that's me that people can click on. And, you know, I, I have my own free binaural beat meditation they can sign up for. You know, I have a Patreon that if you want to be part of my private Facebook group. Um, I also have, I do art. So it's like, yeah, it's really, you know, you just go to the website, www.findingyourinnerphoenix.com and pick out you know, or you can email me. That's I'm open for email. So um, I'd love to hear from people. Awesome. Oh, I also have a YouTube. It's kind of small. I haven't I just started it. So I have one video already posted of kind of, I call it over like, what is sound healing? It's a very introductory video. It explains really well, actually, like the, the notes and the bowls. Cause I like to teach people. It's part of my like job being a nurse practitioner. And then I'm going to have another video posted this week. So I'm slowly starting to build my, my YouTube channel. 
Awesome. And it's just Danielle Jun for that. Perfect, perfect. We'll put that all in the link so everyone Yay. can see it. Once we do the edits, we'll have all the visuals and everything will go right over Yay. your face. So that's that's perfect. Well, okay. Danielle, thank you so much for joining me in the den. I've learned so much. I feel the den mates have learned a lot. I'd like to give you a closing word for anyone that may think, hey, this is mumbo jumbo. It's not for me. Uh, it's never going to work for me. You're proof positive that it can and it will if you put the initiative. I'd like for you to just give a closing word to the den mates that, that may be feeling, especially with the pandemic, out of sorts, feeling that they're, they're lost or that they need search of, of healing or help. Um, if you could give like a final positive affirmation or anything, I think that would be awesome. Um, for me, uh, when I was down, the only way I could get better was to look up. So to have faith and to know that, yes, you can get, seek healing. It can happen. But um, I've been there. So I understand where you are. Awesome. Danielle, thank you so much. I want everyone to check out her website. I want everyone to subscribe. Tell them Mars sent you. Um, learn, heal. Like I said, the three Ps were all about purpose, passion, and a plan. If you have two, just find that plan and you'll accomplish your goals. Danielle, it's been a blast. Thank you so much. You get your Thank official you den mate stamp. That means you're good with us for life. Okay. And as always, if you have anything else that you want to share, you're always welcome to come back here on the den. And we'll be more than happy to uh, have you here. I love it. Okay, great. Awesome. Well, thank you so much. Then, mates, this has been another stellar episode. Danielle, thank you again for coming here in the den. And as always, we thank you guys for watching. Deuces. So like, comment, subscribe. The show's starting right now. Let's go. Like, comment, subscribe. The show's starting right now.